Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show you guys my go-to makeup look, which is this one. I just thought I would show you guys how I get this look and it's super simple. It literally takes me like 10 minutes to do. Today I am filming in my kitchen because I am in the process that Saturn like scratching the door so like I was saying I am in the process of moving so my house is a mess right now we have like packing boxes everywhere Chris and I are just trying to pack because our lease is up in April and I don't know where we're moving to and I don't know where I'm gonna be able to film I definitely will probably have to do more like outdoor vlogs because like I said we don't know where we're going yet we are in the process of finding a home so right now i think we might move back into my parents to just look around or we might go to his parents house i'm not sure but yeah so this is probably going to be my last video here in this house so i just wanted to let you guys know why i'm filming in my kitchen so yeah if you guys want to see how to get this makeup look then just keep on watching okay first thing i'm gonna do is i'm going to apply my primers and I'm going to show you guys which ones I use. We're going to start off with the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. And I'm just going to do one pump of this. Next, I'm going to use the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Perfecting Primer. And I'm going to do just a small amount, same as the other one. Next, I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. Sunkissed Booster Drops. And this is like an oil, but I wouldn't say it's too oily because it's, it does dry on the face after I apply it. So I'm going to apply some on my cheeks. I do some on my forehead and then my chin. Then I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. Glow Up Primer Serum. Same thing. This is like kind of an oil, but not really. It does dry on the face pretty quick. Lastly, I'm going to use my Morphe Gloss Pop Face and Eye Gloss and this one I love it. It's super oily. I love putting like something really oily as a primer on my face before my foundation because I just feel like my foundation blends better. And this one, like I said, it's from Morphe so we're just going to do small amounts. So I'm going to do my cheeks. My forehead and a little bit on my chin and a little bit on my nose. <laughs> you can see Wolfie's head. You can see his face, but Wolfie's standing right behind me. He's brushing his teeth and he's just watching me on the camera. Now going to do my foundation and I mix two foundations, a light and a dark. So for the light one, I'm using my LA Girl Pro Coverage HD High Definition Foundation. And this one is in the shade Bare. And then I, I use my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. This one is the dewy one and this one is in the shade Caramel. So I mix these two and then I'm going to apply it on my face. Okay, so I mix the foundations and I'm just now going to apply. I don't like wearing too much foundation. Um, I just don't like like too cakey. I like more of a natural but this is like my natural look. I literally don't even do this makeup like all the time. I usually only do it when I'm going out like somewhere like dinner or hanging out with friends. But most of the time I don't wear makeup when I go out. I usually just do like concealer, blush, and my eyelashes. And that's pretty much it. Make sure you get the neck. Okay, after I did my foundation, I am now going to go in with my concealer and this one is the Pro Conceal HD High Definition Concealer from LA Girl as well. And this one is in the shade Porcelain under the eyes. And I am now going to blend the concealer. Wolfie wants me to pick him up. Okay, I blended my concealer and now I am going to go in with my cream contour and this one is the LA Girl Pro Conceal HD High Definition Concealer and this one is in the shade Toast. So I'm going to apply it where I'm going to contour. We're going to do there, we're going to do the forehead. We're going to do the jawline. 
And lastly, the nose. I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush to blend out my contour. So I'm gonna start off with the forehead. And then I'm gonna do my jawline. Now we're gonna do the cheekbones. the nose now I'm gonna go in with my rare beauty cream blush and this one is in the shade joy I saw so much hype about this on TikTok, and I was like I want to try it and honestly I love it so much it just blends so nicely and it's very pigmented so you have to be careful how much you use because the first time I used it I didn't know and I did like three dots and it was just so so much so you just have to use like minimal amount and it blends like beautifully so I'm just gonna do a dot here one here and you guys will see how nice it blends I'm gonna use my same elf brush to blend but it's just so so nice this color too when I don't wear makeup and I just do like quick concealer and blush that's the blush I use I put some on my cheeks I blend it out and it just looks so beautiful I'm just gonna go back in with my beauty blender and I'm just going to clear the bottom here under my cheekbones and here I am now going to set my face and bake under my eyes. For that, I used my Too Faced Peach Perfect Mattifying Loose Setting Powder, and it smells so good. So I used this one to set my face and to bake under my eyes. Before I start setting my face, I'm just going to blend my concealer under my eyes again so it doesn't crease. We are now going to bake under the eyes. Okay, after applying that to my eyes, I'm now going to set my face with my BH Cosmetics. Um, this one is the number three. I use this one to set my face. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna start off with the neck. We're gonna do the face now. Okay, so I set my face and now I'm going to contour with powder now and I'm going to use my Hoola Benefit Bronzer and I'm going to be using my BH Cosmetics brush and this one, the number faded so I have no idea what number this is but this one is just a contour brush so I just like to tap it in once because the cream contour that I had put on previously is pretty dark already so I don't want to go too heavy on the contour so we're going to do that and then we're going to bring it up to the forehead same thing on the other side. So I'm gonna use, this one is the number 11 and this is the one that I'm gonna use to contour the nose. Okay, so we are done with the contour and now I'm going to do my brows. Okay, for the brows, I am using my Milani Dark Brown. This one is the dark brown brow color and it is like a gel and I have the brush that comes with it. I love this product for my eyebrows. I just feel like it's so much easier to fill it in. Okay, I filled in the brows and I'm going to set them with my NYX The Brow Glue. This is the one I used to set my eyebrows. And I am now going to move on to the eyes. So for the eyes, I love to do super, super simple. So I only do my crease and I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Alyssa Edwards palette. And I go in with the HOE uh, shade. And I'm using my BH Cosmetic Brush again. This one is the number nine to do my crease. I'm 
Okay, so that is all for the eyes. And now I'm going to remove the powder under my eyes. Okay, to remove the powder, I am using my BH Cosmetics number seven. And I'm just going to dab that under my eyes. And now, so after doing that, I like to do a super, super light wing. I usually like to do like a long wing, but right now my favorite thing to do is just do like a very short wing on my outer corner of my eye using the Beast shade from the palette, which is just the black shade. And I'm using my BH Cosmetics number 12 brush to do the little tiny wing liner. So like I said, just the outer corner of the eye because I'm going to be applying falsies but my new favorite thing to do right now is I like to do, I cut my eyelashes in half so I like to do the outer corners of my eyes for the eyelashes and I just feel like it's so much better because it just kind of gives you that cut eye look when you do that. I'm going to bring the shade under where my lower lash is too, but not all the way, just like, just a little bit. Don't even go like halfway. It's gonna get close so you guys can see. Uh, sorry if my eyes are so red. Every time I apply makeup on, my eyes just get so red and I don't know why. Okay, I did the wings. So you guys can see, so just like I said, just super short wings. And I'm now going to do my mascara and then I'll apply the falsies. I'm gonna curl the lashes. Okay, I did my mascara and I'm gonna do the lashes. And for the lashes, I am using from the brand Kiss. And these are the So Wispy Full Bouncy Volume and Curl, the number 72484. So they come in a pack of five. So these are the ones that I use and I like to cut them in half and put them on the outer corners of my eyes. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. You see just half of them. And for the lash glue, I'm using my Lash Couture Adhesive Strip Lash. And this one, I thought it was pretty cool because it has its own wand, so it's easy to apply and it dries very nicely and it's black. I'm gonna apply that and then I'm gonna wait. While I wait for the lash glue to dry, I am going to do my powder blush. This one, I think, oh yeah, this is the brand Milani. It literally faded the shade, so I can't even tell you guys what shade it is, but it's just a nice rosy pink and I'm gonna apply that on my cheeks. I do love a good blush for my makeup. I just feel like it's just, completes your makeup a little bit of blush or a lot put some on my nose just a little bit on the chin and then I just dab my forehead and that's it for my blush okay I'm now going to apply the lashes so like I said just the outer corner And that is literally it. It is on, as you guys can see. And now we're gonna do this eye. So once again, outer corner. Oh my God, there's a car going off. Oh, it stopped. And yeah, that is for the lashes. Okay, lastly, I am going to do my lips. So I'm going to be using the NYX Matte Lip Liner in the shade Cold Brew. And this one is a dark brown. Sometimes I like to do like a pink lip, sometimes just a clear gloss. But today I'm using this and I'm going to line my lips and then I'm probably gonna do gloss at the end. If you guys, um watch my older videos i have a video where i get lip filler and my lips are now obviously fully healed because i got that done i don't even know how long ago but i'm definitely gonna go back for another half syringe because i want them like bigger than this to be honest 
I think she did such a good job. Like, I love her work. She is so, so good. So, I don't know when, but I'm gonna do it soon to go back for another half syringe. Because I like my lips now, but I just, like I said, I just want them a little bit bigger. There are days when they look so good, like so nice and like big and other days they look like I have no lips and I'm like, what? So that is the lip color. I really like this color, as you can see. I feel like I never line my lips right. I feel like one lip is always bigger than the other one. I don't know. So now, I don't know if I want gloss actually. I'm gonna do gloss. I'm gonna use my Heart Candy Plumping Serum Volumizing Lip Gloss. And we're gonna apply a little bit of this. And these are the lips. To finish off the makeup, I am going to use my Jeffree Star Morphe Set and Spray, sorry, Set and Refresh Mist. Um, this one smells amazing. Like, it's probably one of my favorites. I am running out. So I definitely have to go get more, but it's just it smells so good and it really does refresh your face. Like it just feels so nice on the face. Okay, so that is it for my makeup. This is literally, like I said, I don't do this every day. I don't even have the time with Wolf trying to do my makeup, but this is just a simple, simple look that I like to do when I go out. I don't like to go too heavy on the eyes or anything like that. I am happy with my blush and my lashes and that is it. So yeah, this is it. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, whatever you wanna do. And I will see you guys in my next one.